Governor, why have you resisted debating your Republican primary challengers? Well, it's not a matter of resisting. You know, it's a matter of just this is uh, let's just let's just think about this just for a second. First of all, I have I have been in front of you every single day. I don't know how in the world that you could ask of me to, to expose any more level of transparency because you have been able to ask me anything and everything every day. The second thing is just this. My opponent is running an ad right now that's a bald-faced lie. And we're, and we're entering a complaint today that is a criminal complaint because we knowingly know that they know that they're running an ad that's saying that I'm releasing prisoners and stuff that are criminals, that, have, that is the god-awfulest lie in the history of the world. The next thing is just this. All of the polling that we have done would show that my closest opponent is probably in excess of 40% away from me at this point in time. And the only thing that could happen from a debate is damage the Republican Party. Damage us, you know, in a situation where we're going to be running in a general election to win and keep the majority in the Republican Party. Now, from all that, with all the stuff that I am doing every day, why in the world would I be taking time away from what I'm trying to take care of here, considering all those facts, and run out and do something political? Like I said, I don't even know where my political office is downtown right now. All I am doing is trying to take care of West Virginians. So, so if that's not good enough, well, it's not good enough. But, uh, but I think it's a waste of time.